Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to determine the pH of a salt solution for a salt that yields an acidic solution and for the specific case where the acidity is created by a small, highly charged metal ion. In this problem, you're told that beryllium iodide is added to pure water, and you're asked if the pH of a solution of this salt will be acidic, basic, or neutral. In water, beryllium iodide dissociates. into beryllium cations and iodide anions. And the question here is, how will these ions interact with water molecules in solution? Before answering this question, it's useful to know which ions do not react appreciably with water. And there are general rules of thumb to go by here. Cations that come from strong bases do not react appreciably with water. These cations are lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. Also, anions coming from strong monoprotic acids do not react appreciably with water. And these anions include chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate, and ClO4 minus. In our case, we have iodide, which is included in this list as an anion coming from a strong acid. Therefore, iodide will not react appreciably with water. Beryllium, on the other hand, is a small, highly charged metal ion. And because it is both small and highly charged, it's an acidic cation. To understand this, you have to remember intermolecular forces and the specific intermolecular force, the ion dipole force. And this is the force that occurs between any ion in solution and the water molecules composing the solvent in that solution. So when beryllium iodide dissolves, you have both beryllium cations and iodide anions. So we'll depict the beryllium cations like this and the iodide anions like this. So what happens in solution is that the water molecules surround both of these ions and you have the following ion dipole interactions. The water molecules orient themselves with the oxygen atoms towards the beryllium cation because the oxygen atoms have a partial negative charge in the water molecules. So when the water molecules surround the beryllium cation, you'll get something that looks like this. And you'll get the opposite when the, for the water molecules surrounding the iodide anion. So in this case, the hydrogens of the water molecule will be oriented toward the iodide anion because they have a partial positive charge. So when water molecules surround iodide, you'll get something that looks like this. Beryllium is very small. It has an ionic radius of only 0.031 nanometers. This is opposed to the ionic radius of iodide, which is 0.216 nanometers, an order of magnitude bigger. And because beryllium is such a small ion, the water molecules, with their partial negative charge, can get very close to the positively charged nucleus of beryllium. In addition, beryllium has a charge of plus two, which makes it a highly charged ion compared to, say, a cation with a charge of only plus one. So because beryllium is so small and also highly charged, 
the interaction between it and the water molecules <coughs> goes beyond intermolecular forces. Instead, an acid-base reaction occurs where beryllium pulls the electrons from the oxygen-hydrogen bond in the water molecule so closely to it that it causes the hydrogen of the oxygen-hydrogen bond to dissociate as a proton in solution. And this makes the solution more acidic because it creates a hydronium ion. So the balanced chemical equation for this interaction is written like this. You have beryllium with six waters. I only showed five, but we have six here, plus a water molecule to which it will donate one of its protons to give you the hydronium ion. So here's the proton that was donated to give the hydronium ion, and you're left with beryllium with now only five water molecules and one hydroxide, which is left over from that one water molecule that donated its proton. And this is how small, highly charged metal cations create acidity. So here's the acidity, the hydronium cation is produced in solution due to the interaction of the beryllium cation with the water molecules. Some other small, highly charged cations that make solutions more acidic include the cations iron 2 plus, cobalt 2 plus, nickel 2 plus, zinc 2 plus, aluminum 3 plus, chromium 3 plus, and iron three plus.